Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josie and today I am doing a makeup video, as you can see by my crazy, crazy eyebrows. See, I've already done my eyebrows, that's why they look pretty dark. But um, today I'm doing a makeup video with the Morphe 35 m boss mood palette that i got for valentine's day i'm super duper excited to be using this in a video and we're going to try and do something that is like saint patrick's day inspired so do some like green gold kind of makeup look and my eyebrows look really bad so i apologize for that in advance but i hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started this is what the palette looks like outside of the box when we open it up it looks like this how pretty is this palette? Like, you can't even tell me that this palette is not pretty. It is beautiful. Um, I'm so excited to use it because you guys can't tell. There is a lot of just very... Okay, they look yellow on this camera. But there's a lot of nice green kind of colors in here. So I'm just so excited to be trying this palette out for you guys. And telling you guys if it is good or if it is just absolutely terrible. But I couldn't imagine a Morphe palette being bad so okay so as you can see up close my eyebrows do not look as good as they do far away but we're just gonna get a little bit up close and personal here this is kind of the view that you'll be getting um yeah so we are going to be starting with this shade which is green with envy and i'm just use i'm just using this morphe brush I do want to say that I just cleaned these brushes, so they might be like a little iffy, you know. So I'm just starting by just kind of pressing it on all over like so, and then I'm just going to go through and blend it with this same brush. So I just finished doing this eye just so I could kind of get a look. As you can see, it is a halo eye, and it's hard to tell, but there, and it is hard to tell, but the center is a green shimmer. I feel like this camera really just is not doing this eye look justice. It looks super cool in person, but um, I mean, it looks decent on the camera as well. But yeah, so anyways, let's continue with this side. I'm going to be going in with Express, wait, no, wrong one. Express Yourself right there. And I'm just going to be putting this um, on the like outer crease and just blending it. Um, and then I'm also kind of going to bring it like up a little bit higher. I'm trying to keep the edge just about where my brow ends, like a little bit, a little bit more um, further out, but like pretty close to it. As you can see, that added like a lot of like green to it. It just kind of pulls the whole thing together. So I'm just going to continue blending the entire thing. I just kind of cleaned my brush off a little bit. But going into Stroke of Luck, the color that is right beside it, and basically doing the same thing. I would say this is just about like a shade lighter um, than the other one, and yeah, just packing it on and blending it out super well in just about the same spot. So this is what it looks like now, and now we're going to be going ahead and taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just going to be cutting my crease for the halo eye um it's not really like a cut crease halo eye i mean i guess it kind of is on this side but um this is mainly just to get this like little bit off so we have a clean palette to work with Okay, so as you can see, I have the crease all cut. It's not like a perfect crease. It's pretty messy, but it's totally fine because it's not meant to be like a super 
great cut crease or whatever. I mean, it looks good when I'm just staring here, but when I go like that, you can see that it's pretty messy. Um, but I'm just going to be going back to the original color, this um, green with Envy color. And we're just going to go ahead and start with the halo eye. So we're just going to start on the outside and just pack some of this color on real quick. Um, doesn't have to look pretty or whatever. Just pack it on like you normally would, making sure that you get it all over the lid like that as you can see it looks pretty darn messy right now but then i'm just going to be going ahead and taking a blending brush and then i'm just going to start blending it out so now this is what it looks like on the outside as you can see it's darker again now we're going to be doing the same thing for the inside So as you can see, we're left with this like light little patch. And on this side, I did a really pretty metallic green color. And it is called Bold Moves. It is this really pretty color right here. This is what it looks like. It's so metallic, so pretty. So I just took some of this and I'm just going to put it right here. But that is what they look like overall. So the next thing that I want to be talking about, um, as you can see my eyelashes just look super, super washed out from um, just all of the makeup that I just put on my eyelids. So I actually am going to be using some fake eyelashes that Dodo Lashes sent to me. So this is what the, oh they're upside down, <laughs> this is what they look like, they are so beautiful and long, they are in like the number, whatever you would want to call it, D119, that is what it looks like. Um, if you would like to get a pair of these, um, you can definitely go head on to Dodo Lashes, their lashes I believe are anywhere from 5 to $10, and they are mink lashes, which is pretty cool. And if you would like to get 5% off of your order, you can use my code Makeup by Josie M. It'll be like right here on the screen and it'll be in the description as well as the link to their website. So yeah, this is super duper cool and I can't wait to try these out, but I just want to let you guys know that before I do that. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. These just look so dramatic and so cool. Okay, so I just got done putting on the first eyelash. The reason I stopped the camera is not because they were like, they were really hard for me to get on, but not because they're bad lashes. It's just I'm bad at putting on eyelashes. These are actually easier than it normally is. It only took me like two tries. So I was pretty impressed. As you can see, there's the difference between the two. Just what a huge difference. I haven't put on any mascara. I'm not planning on putting on any mascara. Um, it has a pretty thick band, but you really can't see it. They don't look like really fake or anything. I'm actually not even going to be putting on any eyeliner because there's really not much to blend. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. Um, I just put a little bit of Tarte Mascara on my bottom lashes, and I'm sorry that I couldn't do like the rest of my face makeup. It's just, I've been working on this makeup for like a long time, and I'm just getting really exhausted. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this St. Patrick's Day olive green um, look. 